Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to find the mode of a given distribution. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the median of a given distribution. Median. We will begin by learning how to find the median of a set of numbers. The median of a set of numbers is the middle value after arranging the numbers in increasing or decreasing order of magnitude. So when you have a set of numbers and you want to find its median, the first thing you have to do is to arrange the numbers in increasing or decreasing order of magnitude. That is from the highest to the lowest or the lowest to the highest. After that, the median will be the number in the middle, the middle value. Let's apply this to solve some questions. Let's consider this question. Find the median of 3, 2, 3, 4, 6. We have learned that the median of a set of numbers is the middle number after the numbers have been arranged in ascending or descending order of magnitude. So here to find the median, the first thing we have to do is to arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order of magnitude. Here I'm going to arrange it in ascending order, that is from the smallest to the biggest. The smallest number here is 2. The one after that is 3. We have another 3, then 4, and 6. After arranging the numbers in ascending order, the median value will be the number in the middle of the set of numbers. As you can clearly see here, we have five numbers in total. Two to the left and two to the right. The middle number here is three. So it means that the median is three. Let's consider another question. Find the median of four, eight, three, ten, 9, 12, 13. To begin, I'll arrange the numbers in ascending order, that is from the least to the greatest. The least number here is 3, the one after that is 4, we have 8, 9, 10, 12, and 13. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in total. When we divide them into two, we can see that we have three to the left and three to the right. The number in the middle is nine. So it means that the median of this set of numbers is nine. Let's consider another question. Find the median of three, seven, four, one, two, three, six, nine, eight, five. We arrange the numbers in ascending order. Remember, you can also do it in descending order. You are going to have the same results. Here, I'm going to do it in ascending order. That is from the smallest to the biggest. The smallest number here is 1. Then 1 after that is 2. The next one is 3. We have another 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers in total. When we divide them into two equal parts, we can see that we have 5 on the left and 5 on the right. We don't have a single number in the middle. This is because the middle is occupied by two numbers and they are 4 and 5. So in this case, to find the median, we will add the two numbers occupying the middle position, which are 4 and 5, and divide the result by 2. So the median will be equal to 4 plus 5 divided by 2. And this will give us 4.5. So it means that the median is 4.5. Let's consider the next question. Find the median of 10, 24, 16, 25, 8, and 14. I'll arrange the numbers in ascending order. 
the smallest number here is 8 the one after that is 10 we have 14 16 24 and 25 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbers in total when we divide them into two equal parts we have 3 on the left and 3 on the right here too you can see that when we divide the numbers into two equal parts we don't have a single number in the middle this is because the middle is occupied by 14 16 so these are the two numbers in the middle so to get the mean just as we did in the previous example we will add these two numbers and divide the results by 2 so the median will be 14 plus 16 divided by 2 and this will give us 15 so it means that the median of this set of numbers is 15. so far we've considered how to find the median of a set of numbers let's learn how to find the median from a frequency distribution table median from a frequency distribution table to get the median from a frequency table find the total frequency which is n after that if n is even the median will be at the half of n position if n is odd the median will be at the half of n plus one position let's apply this to solve some questions the table below shows the scores of 15 students in a biology test find the median score the first thing we have to do is to find the number of students the question has given it to us as 15 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 gives us 15 so here the total number of students is 15 just as we have learnt if the number is odd as we can see here 15 is an odd number if the number is odd the median will occur at the half of n plus 1 position here n is 15 so n plus 1 will be 15 plus 1 which is 16 half of 16 is 8 so what it means is that the median will occur at the eighth position so you come to the frequencies and you count until you get to 8 the number there will give us the median the first frequency is 2 it's still not up to 8 the next one is 4 2 plus 4 is 6 it's still not up to 8 the next one is 5 we need just 2 to get to 8 so if you take 2 from 5 and you add it to the 6 we have we are going to have 8 which means that the median will care at this point and at this point the score there is 4 so it means that the median score is 4 let's try another question the table below shows the ages of pupils in a class calculate the median age the first thing we have to do here is to find the total frequency the total frequency which is giving us n is equal to 10 plus 35 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 and that is 60 so it means that there are 60 pupils in the class 60 is even after finding n if n is even the median will be at half of n position n is 60 so half of 60 will give us 30 so it means that the median age is at the 30th position so you come to the frequencies and you count until you get to the 30th position the first frequency is 10 it is not up to 30 the next frequency is 35 we need just 20 to get to 30 so if you take 20 out of the 35 and you add it to the 10 you get to 30 and you will even be left with 15 so it means that the median will care 
at this particular point the age here is 15 so it means that the median age is 15 years let's consider another question the table below shows the ages of workers in a company find the median age class as you can see from the table because the ages have been given to us in intervals the question is asking us to find the median age class so we are looking for the class not the actual median age the first thing we have to do here is to find the sum of the number of workers that is the total workers in the company we will get that by adding the numbers here 6 plus 8 plus 11 plus 10 plus 5 plus 3 and that gives us 43 so there are a total of 43 workers in the company 43 is odd if the sum of the number of workers is odd that is if n is odd the median will be at the half of n plus 1 position n is 43 so n plus 1 will be 43 plus 1 which is 44 so the median will be at the half of 44 position half of 44 will give us 22 so it means that the median will be at the 22nd position so you count the number of workers until you get to the 22nd position the first one is 6 it is not up to the 22nd position the next one is 8 6 plus 8 is 14 it's still not up to the 22nd position but the next one is 11 when you add 11 to 14 you are going to have 25 which is past the 22nd position it means that the median occurs at this point and at this point the class there is 20 to 24 so it means that the median age class is 20 to 24 years as you can see from here when the data in the table given to us is grouped you can only find the median class from the table what if we want the actual median that is the value itself how are you going to find that we can do that by using a cumulative frequency curve so when we draw a cumulative frequency curve for a particular distribution we can use it to find the median let's learn how to do that median from a cumulative frequency curve let's assume that this is a cumulative frequency curve so we have the cumulative frequencies on the vertical axis and the max on the horizontal axis and this is our curve to get the median what we have to do is that we will find half of the cumulative frequency and locate it on the cumulative frequency axis to get that if the cumulative frequency is even it will be half of the cumulative frequency if it is odd it will be half of the cumulative frequency plus one after locating it on the cumulative frequency axis you trace it to the curve and then from there you trace it to the horizontal axis to get the actual median so you find half of the cumulative frequency if it is even if it is odd you find half of the cumulative frequency plus one then you plot it on the cumulative frequency axis after that you trace it to meet the curve and from there you trace it to the horizontal axis to get the median let's apply this to solve some questions the table below shows the max scored by some candidates in an examination so we have the table here showing the max and the frequencies construct a cumulative frequency table and use it to draw a cumulative frequency curve for the data find the median mark from the cumulative frequency curve I've already explained how to construct a cumulative frequency table and draw a cumulative frequency curve in the previous videos. So I'm going to assume that at this point you already know how to do this. So I'll go ahead to the second part of the question.
This is the cumulative frequency curve for the distribution. As you can see, the cumulative frequency is 100. So, sigma f is equal to 100. To get the median, the first thing we have to do is to find half of sigma f. Sigma f is even. So, you will find half of sigma f, which will be half of 100. And half of 100 is 50. After that, we will locate 50 on the cumulative frequency axis. And then we will trace it to the curve. And from where it meets the curve, we will trace it to the horizontal axis and read the value there. When I do that, the value I'm having is 49. So as we can see on the curve, the 50th position corresponds to 49%. It means that the median mark is 49%. Let's consider another question. The marks obtained by 40 students in an examination are as follows. So we have the marks here. Using the intervals 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, etc. Construct a cumulative frequency table for the distribution. Draw a cumulative frequency curve for the distribution. We already know how to do this. So we concentrate on the last part which is find the median mark from the cumulative frequency curve. So let's do that. This is the cumulative frequency curve for the distribution. As we can clearly see, the cumulative frequency is 40. So it means that sigma f is 40. And 40 is even. So to find the median, we will find half of 40. Half of 40 will give us 20. So it means that the median will occur at the 20th position. So you come to the cumulative frequency axis and you locate 20. From there, you trace it to the curve and then you trace it to the horizontal axis and then you read the value there. The value I'm having is 44.5. So from the curve, we can see that the 20th position corresponds to 44.5%. It means that the median mark is 44.5%. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In this video, we have learned how to find the median of a given distribution. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the quartiles, deciles, and percentiles of a given distribution. Bye-bye.